When a couple comes to me for marriage counseling, they're usually looking for help in, in changing something in their relationship. I've learned over the years to be very clear with each person as to what level of change they're looking for, because it's easy for people to confuse first order change with second order change. Now here's an example that explains the difference between those two things. A couple comes counseling and, and they both want to have fewer hurtful fights. That's their goal. He asks her what he needs to change on his part. She says he needs to get off the computer and listen more to her when she's talking. And he should always call when he's going to be late. And he needs to be nicer to her mother when she comes to visit. So. He agrees to make these changes if that will, you know, reduce the arguments. And they leave the counseling office. A month later, the couple returns to report that they're still having the same number of fights. He states that in that month, he has called when he was going to be late, spent less time on the computer, and made extra effort to talk to her mother. Now she agrees he made those changes but it had no effect on the arguments. They were still arguing just as much. Now he, and possibly she, thought that making some you know, relatively easy and simple behavioral changes would accomplish what they wanted. Now that's an example of first order change. It's like changing your house by rearranging the furniture or painting the walls a different color. It is a change, but not a very substantial one. This couple, especially the wife, was really looking for second order change in the relationship. Now this type of change is much more substantial, extensive, and, and requires more work and energy. It's like changing one's house by taking out some walls to open up a new area, or putting in a new window to let light in or adding on a sunroom, and, all, and th changes like that, big changes. In order to reduce fighting, this couple would probably need to tackle second order change. This would include not just changing a few behaviors, but would mean reaching some new understanding and appreciation for each other. It would mean making changes, not just in behavior, but in how they see each other and how they communicate their love for each other. Now, a piece of the puzzle of being human is that we're not too comfortable with change. And when we do need to change, we would rather it be fairly quick and easy. Plus, we live in this society where we can change many things with a simple push of a button, swallowing a pill, or having a 15-minute Zoom call. We get lulled into the false notion that that any change can be made quickly and with a minimum of effort, and that immediate results will follow. In short, we want first order change. If, that doesn't if it doesn't happen that way, we tend to think there's something wrong, wrong with me or wrong with the process or, or wrong with the other person who is responsible or whatever. In reality, there may not be anything wrong, the situation may be calling for second order change instead of first order change. Now we do ourselves a favor by, by not confusing the need for first order change with the need for second order change. One thing that's helpful in this regard is to be very clear about what the change is that I want, especially in relationships. Is it simply that I want my spouse to get the garbage out on time? Is that exactly what I'm looking for? Or is it that I want my spouse to respect my wishes and desires more? And emptying the trash promptly is just one piece of that. Also important is, is cultivating a healthy level of patience. Second order change usually takes more time and effort, and the results often don't show up very quickly. Persistence, perseverance, and patience are requirements for not growing crazy when working on second order change. 
This includes patients with myself and with others. And the old saying still holds true, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Beneficial changes last only if they're built on a firm foundation and constructed with quality materials. In relationships, this means not skimping on the essentials, the essentials of reflective listening to each other, the practice of humility in stating one's own views, the respect given to each other, to each other, the patience used to deal with each other, and the communication, clear communication of care, concern, and love for the other person. Sometimes effective changes are as simple as pushing a button or asking someone to do something different, and that as first order change works. But it's good to recognize when more is needed and step up to the challenge of second order change. It is harder, but it's usually worth the work.